The Blissey Turret Spotlight event is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So the event itself is running from the 24th to the 26th of March, featuring Blissey alone and will offer probably the best method that we've had so far in these games for farming Terra Shards. You can see if we hop over to Cerebi here, we've got all the details of this event so far. All of the Blissey that will be featured in this event will be rated as a five star Terra Raid Den and will all have a random Terra type attached to them. They can have their hidden abilities and they will have the move set here. Pulse, Last Resort, Soft Boiled and Seismic Toss and that is across the board. There are going to be no additional moves for these Blissies so there's no threat of anything like Sing that we kind of theory there might be in our preview article. If you want to go back and check that out because we got six Pokemon that were built in that that will make farming and soloing these Pokemon super easy. And I'll link that in the top right hand corner now for you. But getting on to the item drops because that is all this event is about and you can see here from your standard blissey raid dens you're going to get about 25 terror shards per raid den you're going to get a combination of those and you're going to get xl candies large candies and rare candies as well but coming down to the juice for this event you're going to get these rare blissey spotlight event dens and i don't know if there's a way to distinguish one from another but we'll have a look in game in a moment but if you get lucky and get one of these you can get up to i think i calculated around 61 terror shards per den that you beat and these blissey are going to be easy to defeat they're only five star they're only level 75 so they're not going to be too difficult to go in and beat we've got some good pokemon examples to take in and do it so getting up to 61 terror shards per den is absolutely nuts and like i say the best farming method we've got for these items in these games the event itself like i said is running from the 24th as of recording this video until the 26th but remember if you don't go online after the 26th you'll keep this event in your game which is probably not a bad idea so you can just farm these terror shots until you've got a really good number that you want to go forward with and then go online and the event will disappear but this is a great event to keep in your games for as long as possible just to farm and get as many terror shots as possible so so once you are in your game to update your dens you're going to want to come down to your poker portal and then you want to come down to mystery gifts and once you're in here you want to come down to check poker portal news then you'll get this sign once you connect it to the internet saying that all your terror dens around the Paldea region are updated and then you'll be able to go onto your map and identify which ones are the spotlight terror raids you'll be able to come on and the ones that are going to be the spotlight terror raid dens are going to be the ones with a white glowing aura around them like this one so you can see there's a regular fighting type one there the one with the glowing aura around it is a spotlight terror raid event like i said there doesn't seem to be a way to distinguish which ones are going to give the higher payouts of course and um, from the map i can't see any difference between any of the spotlight raid dens so it might just be a chance that you're going to be able to come across the ones that give a higher payout of terror shards if there is a definitive answer of course i will update the pinned comment down below at some point when we do find a bit more information about it but the build that i've chose is specifically for these raid events is going to be ursa ring Things like Iron Hands, King Gambit, anything that can belly drum and just hit on the physical end is going to be really good against Blissey. But we've got Ursa Ring here, we've got the normal Terra type, we've got the Flame Orb attached to it. We have that Guts ability, we have an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack with an adamant nature. And a moveset of Belly Drum, Crunch, Close Combat and Facade gives us nice coverage against a bunch of different Blissey types so we can go through and run through them very quickly and then you'll come to the raid event itself you'll see it'll be like this and then we'll hop in I've chosen the ferry type Blissey Terror Raid uh, Den because I feel like that one might have a better chance of giving us the higher payouts I could be completely wrong but when it was announced the event it was a fairy type Blissey on the kind of poster for the announcement so I'm kind of putting two and two together like I say it could be completely wrong but let's see what the payout is like for this particular den so the strategy is just to belly drum turn one with Ursa Ring that is going to cut your HP in half, max out your attack and at the end of the turn your flame orb will activate, activating your cut ability boost as well. 
going to take a little bit of damage from the Blissey, but you don't need to worry about that too much. And then you can just go for the facade, depending on the type, of course. We're going to go for the facade here. If it's a normal type, then the close combat might be a nice option, but we'll see. This should knock it out, though. This is a pretty powerful attack, and Blissey not the strongest, and there you go. This is why Ursa Ring is going to be one of the best Pokemon to go in and start just rolling through these Blisseys so you can just collect as many Terra Shards as possible. There we go. We get it. We get the one. So we've got all of these Terra Shards. You can see here five fire, water, grass, ice, poison, rock, dark, bug, psychic, fairy, 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 fairy. There are only ones though, but we do get 15 of them. So we get an absolute ball load of those. So I've just tallied this up and we've got 68 Terra Shards in this one Terra Raid event. So I don't know if the presumption was that it was just a fairy type uh, raid that gives out these, but uh, if you go into a fairy type one and it gives you the same, let me know down in the comment section below. It'd be good just for other people if they are going into these raids. And if you've had the same results with any of the other types, it would be great to know so we can kind of narrow down which ones are the best ones to go in and farm for this weekend. But 60 Terra Shards at a time is absolutely ridiculous. The Ursa Ring, I feel, is going to be one of the best options to go in with the Flame Orb, the Facade. It's going to just roll through these blessies super easy. The build will be in the description below, but this is going to be an event that's going to be very, very good for you to just go in and really get as many of these Terra Shards as possible. So there we go, friends. I hope you have fun with this Blissey Spotlight Terra Raid event over this weekend. It's a ridiculous amount of Terra Shards and finally an easy way for us to obtain them in these games. Like I say, if I've got any more updates on it, I will put them in the pinned comment down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this useful, please drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel and have fun with this event over the weekend and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.